This is Donnie Lewis for Rat Rods, Two Lanes, and Neon. And today we are on our way to Osgood, Indiana. We stopped at Kelly's Bel Air Drive In. We've been here before, shot some video. We just wanted to stop, stretch our leg. We've been on the road for a couple hours. But we're going to get out today, find some neat old stuff out in the middle of nowhere. We're rolling large in Frankenstein. And uh, I've got to thank my sponsors, Complete Reconstruction. Austin, Indiana, can't ask for no better group of guys right there. White's Auto Sales, Austin, Indiana, been around decades. Great, great, great car line. Uh, Heels 4x4, Austin, Indiana, decades of experience. But I'm out here today, we're in Frankenstein, we're rolling large. We're almost to Osgood, Indiana. So I just wanted to stop here for a minute, stretch my legs. Uh, Kelly's Bel Air Drive-In. It's right north of Versailles, and uh, I'm going to stretch out a little bit, get back in the car. We're going to go find some really old, old train uh, train bridge, a hand-laid highway bridge, some old old stuff up here, old neon sign at old theater, and uh, we're going to roll today. I'll catch you up when we get there. shaped over the tracks that we're going to find the high trestle for. Uh, very old bridge. We've only got lost once. There it is actually. There's the trestle. You can see it. So I need to get off of here find somewhere to turn around or something. Here's a road, it's like the county road, and it's gravel. Oh, I hate gravel. Well, we're gonna see if we can get close to the high trestle. And I'll come back and take pictures of this one. We found a couple more. All's good in the air. And I'm at the bottom of the hill hard to see in the trees the leaves are out but that's high bridge trestle looks almost identical to the pope lick trestle rough down i look for the pope lick monster i don't know how much closer i can get i'm going to go somewhere else and park i'm not going to trespass neat neat old place train bridge
Okay, the high bridge I've left. Can't get any closer. It is all private property. The homeowner evidently wasn't there. We stopped and talked to some other super nice people up here in Osgood, wherever this place is. Uh, told us if he was there that we could probably get in. It's all gated. The homeowner had problems with a lot of four-wheeler riders tearing up the land he owns under that train trestle. It's beautiful property, as you can see. But, in fashion, I asked him if there's anything else Americanish around here. And they said, have you heard of the Haunted Devil's Elbow Road? And I said, no. I've been out by the one in Missouri on Route 66. And they said, nope, it's on Fink's Road in Osgood. And we found it. <laughs> Middle of nowhere. I don't know how good the video is going to be. But everything goes straight down here leading out into this field. It's some kind of a little valley it runs up through here. And ghost hunters come here. Whatever, paranormal investigators. Uh, someone has gotten murdered. It's not a fairy tale kind of thing or hearsay. It's in police reports of how it happened. And right there, I mean, it's hard to see in the video, but it goes straight down. It's horrid back in there. And you come down the hill. We got Frankenstein at the curb. We got a little pull off. But if you're coming around here on Fink's Road, I mean, this corner is hideous right here. Hideous. And evidently, at one point in time, an individual got murdered and put in a car and set on fire and pushed over into there. Where the rock ledge is. I mean, it's this horrible. I mean, it's probably 150 foot to the bottom, almost straight down. But there's the road on the other side. You come down the hill and make this bend. It's called Devil's Elbow. Even before the other murder, this has been a really weird place. Unexplained things have been seen. So they don't know if that had some kind of effect on it but uh the devil's elbow osgood indiana on fink's road crazy 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 and this way leads back out to the main road which is where we came in It just kind of opens up into nothing. Huh? My wife lost me. Now I'm hearing stuff down there. I'm getting paranoid. <laughs> wow, it's a long way down. Holy cow. Ghost hunters from all over come up to here. So the very nice family we talked to said, uh, it's, this is Americana. If you're out filming Americana, this is where you need to be. I don't know. The scariest thing here is sitting up there on four wheels. We're going to get out of here and try to find some other Americana in Osgood, Indiana. Hit the devil's elbow and we're going to move on.
devil's elbow. You can definitely feel something going on there. My wife felt like somebody's trying to push her off the cliff. I don't know. We're headed back out on Finch Road. And this is a little trestle that is going down to that high trestle we tried to get to, the high bridge. Same train track. It's right on top of Finch Road. Uh, neat little trestle, very old, very old. 1880s they're thinking all this stuff here is. The rainbow shaped wooden bottom bridge, high bridge in this one, I think, 1880s to around 1901. So, just neat stuff. I love all the stonework they used to put into this. They're just pouring slabs. Really neat. And we have parked on 550 W. There is the four arch bridge. And I'm talking in the middle of nowhere. But it's definitely worth the drive. This stuff is disappearing way too quick. Get out with your husband, wife, kids, and enjoy a day like today and, and, and check it out. This stuff is just disappearing too quick. Ooh. under it. Pretty neat. Used heavily, which is probably what saved it. 
See if I can get around the outside. Well, here's this. I don't know the north side. Beautiful old bridge. Wish there's more water under it. <laughs> this is definitely Americana. I said it was used. Check this out. That's about 60,000 pounds a truck. And I think we're going to head back. But that's neat. It's worth the trip out here. I think it's called Michigan Road, and this is 550W.
Well, after about two hours and 20 minutes of driving from Osgood, Indiana, a little leg stretch there in North Vernon, we're back home. The car is filthy, but I drive it. Uh, found cool stuff, cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Mud on the tires. Dust all over it. We had fun though. Uh, so it's about left at 10 o'clock this morning. It's uh, 6:30. That's a good day. Cruising, finding stuff, burning some fuel, enjoying the day, enjoying the car. Uh, You've seen everything. It's tremendous old bridges, the old rusty gold sitting there, and all is good. The art's posted everywhere around town. Just neat, neat stuff. Neat stuff. <sighs> so, until next time, this is Donnie Lewis for Rat Rods, Two Lanes, and Neon. And remember, drive them.